What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Alright, so in our last episode, I revealed the two reborn, or no, I would, I would say the two new Pokemon, not so new Pokemon that I put back on my team, because of EV, IV, stats, judge, whatever, and all that stuff, and now we're going to be going straight into the rock tunnel, so, yes, I'm going to be going with a partner right here, because I'm, a, I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit quicker than than normal this time and yeah I am on limited time right here so what we're gonna do first is actually we're gonna be switching up Pokemon right now uh, as you can see new Budkiss and new uh, new uh, whatchamacallit uh, new Smasher right here they did their thing in the last episode but now it's time for the big boys to come out that way we can actually get through this a little quicker so here we are in the rock tunnel. It's pitch black in here. Do you want to use the secret technique light up? Yes, I do. And of course, Pikachu will be able to do that for us. No problem whatsoever. Look at that. So there will be some Pokemon right in here. Rare Pokemon. One that comes to mind is that you can actually find yourself a Charmander in here. But believe it or not, guys, the Charmander that you get from uh, the trainer a while back is actually the better Charmander out of all of these. So, if you guys are thinking of getting a Charmander in here and stuff instead of over there, think again. So here we go. Pokemaniac Ashton Kutcher wants to battle. Look at this. Looking like a Slowpoke, or a Slowbro. And luckily for us, it's a double battle. Two against one, so this is going to be easy battles right here. And, well, our weakest Pokemon don't really have to do much. So what we're going to do is yeah, I'm just going to withdraw. I'm going to let Pikachu do all the work right here. Zippy Zap. Bam! He already saw the X right there. Look at that. Alrighty, okay. Look at that. Simple battle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look at that. He just doesn't like it. <laughs> He's all surprised and everything. So right now, in this episode right here, I'm going to resist all temptation of capturing whatever Pokemon I see right here. Because I will be doing that off screen. And that's mainly because I kind of... Oh, damn! I kind of want to get through this and then go on to the next place, get to Lavender Town. And... Well, look at that. Just so many Pokemon right here. And I think you can actually find some hidden hidden items right here, too. But... <laughs> I'm going to try and get the heck out of here. Alrighty. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> We're trying to... I'm trying to maneuver this whole thing right here. But all these Pokemon are just popping up. Kind of like, kind of, kind of like the real women in my life. They just pop up and just ruin my life. So here he comes out with a Kangaskhan, and believe it or not, you can actually find Kangaskhan in this game, like in this area here too, which is great. And well, it's great for all of us too, cause it will be more experience points for the all of us. And look at that, we taught Brick Break to Leonardo right here, so. At least one of us is going to hit this guy. So here we go. That's right. Super effective. Let's do the same thing. Let's go. Alrighty. Double kick for the win. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And everybody is getting points. Leonardo finally grows to level 30. Technically speaking, I would have had all my Pokemon at level 30 or above. They would be overpowered. It would be just a perfect team, but I kind of want to have that perfect team. So that's why I made the switch and all that stuff. I almost burped there. All right, so... Damn it! Of course! Rhyhorn. All right. There we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Damn it! All right. Rhyhorn, stop being a jerk. Just let me catch you. Come on. In there. In there. Ah, damn it. I did not mean to throw that. Oh. There we go. Come on. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball, you asshole right horn. Yes. We caught ourselves a right horn. I had no choice, guys. I had to capture him. And everybody's getting levels, which is good. And Buttkiss slowly but surely going back to its original form. As you can see right here, Rhyhorn. 
the Spike Pokemon. A Pokemon with a one-track mind. Once it charges, it won't stop running until it falls asleep. It's kind of scary. Very, it, it really is when you think about it. So what I'm going to do right here is grab this item and walk away. That's all I'm going to do. And there's a Golbat. Ah! Oh. oh my god. Should probably put my uh, support trainer in front of me. That way it just evades all these Pokemon right here. So right here. God dang it. I thought this guy wasn't going to see me. Never mind. Let's go. Gonna be battling this guy, Black Bill Dudley from the Dudley Boys, wanting to battle us, coming out with his Onyx. Perfect. Let's get this. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's go. We got this. Got that one move that will actually defeat this guy, and here we go with another Scald attack. Double kick. Oh yeah. Packs a Wallop right there. Almost defeats Onyx right there. And look at that. Scald attack. There we go. No more Onyx. There we go. And everybody gets points without doing anything. And we're getting more Pokeballs, which is great. Alright, so... Oh, wait. Hold on. Pokeball. We got ourselves a Dire Hit, and we have to escape that Cubone because... Yeah... Now, like I said before, guys, you can actually find yourself a Charmander in here, and it's best something that I well something that I've learned so far playing this game uh, in the previous well playing this game over and over is that the Charmander that you get from the trainer is much better off with you than just a regular old Charmander here. If you guys want to continue your collection just by like having a Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, then so be it. Go right ahead. It, you know, the more Pokemon you have, the more, you know, you can actually fill on your Pokemon home. And here we go, double kick. Look at that, Geodude. Getting his butt kicked. Alrighty. Of course, Leonardo's not going to be able to hit. Smasher grows to level 22. And here comes an Onix. Alright, Onix. I don't like you, and you don't like me. But guess what? I got a Leonardo right here, and he's about to scald you. Get ready for the scalding of your life. And almost defeats Onyx. Here we go. Scald attack. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Onyx. Really, it's unfair, but I kind of want to get over this whole place. I usually take super long in, like, going through Rock Tunnel. Back then, when I was Draven XC 7-Eleven... Yeah, this would have been like a two-parter episode. Hell, even in the beginning of YouTube, this would have been a three-parter because of the ten-minute limit. <laughs> and Graveler almost... Yeah, Graveler survives, but here we go. Look at that. No more. Didn't even get a chance to hit me. Look at that, my Pokemon are kicking ass. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Alright, so we still got another trainer that we have to follow right here. Okay, freaking Q-Bones are popping up like nowhere. And hit me with your best shot! Alright. Alright, you bastard. Let's go. Black Belt Eric wants the battle. Coming out with his Mankey. Alrighty. Again, it's not a fair battle right now. It really isn't. Just two against one. So, let's go right ahead and use a Thunderbolt. And, you know what? Let's go with the Scald. Screw it. Scald him. Here we go. Look at that. Mankey. Wow. That Mankey seriously got crisped. And Dragonair. Level 31. That's great. And he's coming out with his Poliwrath or Poliwhirl. No problem. Let's go Thunderbolt. And let's go with a Bite Attack. Alrighty. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. That's right. That's right. Look at that. Kick, kicking butt, taking names. And Black Belt Eric had no chance with us. All right. Let's move on right here. Grabbing ourselves another item. Three three great balls, which we des desperately need. Because, again, off screen, I will be capturing more Pokemon right here. Leveling, leveling up my team. 
And here we are in the next level of this area. Let's see. And there is a Machop there waiting for us. And, well, let's go ahead and battle this individual. Hmm, maybe I'm lost in here. Probably. Okay, stretching out my arms because this is about to get crazy. It's about to catch these hands right here coming out with an Onyx. Look at that. Onyx looking crazy. Man, a combination of Sparky and Leonardo. Oh, yes. So, oh, 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 wait. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Crap basket. Alright, let's do this again. Alright, so, didn't mess up this time. Let's go with a Scald Attack. Double kick. Look at that. Onyx nearly gets uh, defeated right here, so here we go. Scald Attack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't have a chance. Alrighty, okay. And here he comes out with a Sand Slash, a Pokemon that I, you know, have had thoughts of using from time to time in every single walkthrough that I played. But it just doesn't pan out because, I don't know, kind of particular with my team right here. So here we go. Double Kick. Not so effective this time. But don't worry. Got myself Scald. For the win! Look at that. Double teaming everybody. Double teaming the competition since 1998. Or 97. Or probably 99. I don't even know. Shoot. And look at that. Oliver has been defeated. He's still cheerful. That's that's always cool. Alright. Trying to get out of the way right here. And try to get this guy to pay attention to me. This tunnel goes a long way, kid! It does. It really does. So here we go, another Pokemon battle against Lenny. Lenny Leonardson from The Simpsons. Alright, Sparky. Let's go. Alright, so let's go right ahead and use a Zippy Zap. And let's go with another, well, I guess, Scald. Alrighty, here we go. Zippity Zap. Zippity Zap away. Okay, so I probably overkilled this guy just a little bit. And look at that. Leonardo grows to level 31. Which is great. This is awesome right here. And well, Lenny has been defeated. Yeah, this is going this is going by quickly, which is good. Very, very good. And I think we got one more trainer right here, but what we need to do right now is actually grab ourselves an item. So while my support trainer waits for us right there, I'm gonna grab an escape rope. And I'm going to meet up with her right here. And of course, a lot of these Pokemon are just like popping out of nowhere. Luckily, we've only met one, which will enable us for the next screen and stuff. All right, Santa Claus wants to battle us. And he will be coming out with his Machop. All righty. And since Sparky is uh, perfect as he is, let's go with a Thunderbolt. And, eh, screw it. Let's go with a, a Brick Break. Couldn't hurt, right? Wouldn't hurt. Look at that. <laughs> Jesus, this Pikachu is just kicking ass. There we go. And Mew de Uno, level 34. Here comes a Rhyhorn. What up, Rhyhorn? You ain't got nothing on me. So here we go, a double kick. And a Brick Break for the win right here. Double kick. Oh, wow. 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 Pikachu's in a frenzy right now, just kicking everybody's ass. I I kind of feel like you can actually beat this whole game with just the Pikachu since, you know, its stats are so perfect. Comment down below if that's true. Or, you know, I kind of want to see a YouTuber do that. I've been watching a few YouTubers, like, complete games with, you know, random Pokemon that, you know, some random ass Pokemon. I think the one useless, uh, I think the one useless video that I've seen was, uh, can you beat all of Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow with just the Magikarp? And, you know, it all came down to, I guess it all came down to the Ghost-type Pokemon, because, what was it, you can't beat Ghost-type Pokemon with normal-type moves, so there's just, you know, right there, there's just a standstill. You can't beat them can't do anything and uh, the only move that 
of course, Magikarp has is to tackle. So to me, that was kind of a useful 14, 15 minutes of, you know, explaining to us that this is how many times we have to fight in order to, you know, beat everybody with just the Magikarp. And good God, I think I remember just posting a, put, putting a comment there saying, a simple no would suffice. That's pretty much it. Kind of felt like I wasted like 14 minutes of my, my life right there. No, no shade on the other guy. It's just, it's true. <laughs> Holy crud. And look at that. Level 39 Sparky. Alrighty, okay. Alright. And everybody else getting it. And Smasher growing to level 23. In no time it will be at level th at level 30. Buckus, on the other hand, is, uh, the, is the Pokemon that I have to worry about. And here we have a full heal. Alright, let's get the heck out of here without... God dang it! Getting attacked by... Actually, hold on. Yeah, we're running away right here. We're not gonna... We already got a gold bat. Eventually, I'm gonna get to him. Or get more gold bats and... God dang! These Pokemon are just, like, everywhere. Alright. Get over here, support trainer. Alright, there's nothing right there except for a Graveler. So let's go ahead and battle. Do you know how to avoid getting lost in the mountains? You can bend twigs as a trail markers. Alrighty. Let's go. I'm flexing, I'm stretching, and she's got herself two Pokemon. Here we go, Sophia. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. So here we go. Sparky and Leonardo doing her thing. Let's get it. Let's go with, of course, a Scald attack. So let's go double kick right here, and it looks like Pikachu's just gonna end everybody, so yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, and then no, nobody to scald. So here, he, here she comes out with a Kadabra. So let's see, Zippy Zap, and let's finish this guy off with a Bite Attack. Alrighty. Zippy Zap. Takes care of Kadabra. <laughs> so I am almost tempted of doing a full walkthrough with just Pikachu. I'm all, oh wow, she gave us five Ultra Balls. Let's see. You won't get lost in battle. So we got five Ultra Balls, which actually helps us out. And I'm only assuming that you get more. You get Ultra Balls from the uh, from a uh, what was it? Ace Trainers right here. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. Even on a mountain like this, a, an ace trainer like me exists. Alrighty. Bring it. Okay, so here we have ace trainer Charlie wanting to battle us, and he comes out with a diglet. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. Now, I could be switching out Pokemon, but... Eh, the combination of, uh, Sparky and Leonardo is kicking ass, or just a combination of just... Good God. <laughs> just the combination of Sparky. He's doing all the... all the whole thing right here, and, uh, well... Look at that. Scald, nothing. So here he comes in with a Flareon, and, well, hopefully... Hopefully Sparky won't just defeat him with the double kick, but I'm pretty sure he will. So let's go again, another Scald that we might waste. Yep, that's right. Take out the big dog, which is Pikachu. And look at that. Flareon survives. So here goes. Finally! Scald attack. Look at that. No more Flareon. Alrighty, alrighty. And Charlie has been defeated. Of course, his pride has been taken away. Just like Vegeta's. Alright, let's move on. And move away from these god dang from these god dang gold bats. So escape him and grab ourselves this. Found ourselves a super potion. So I think we're towards the very end right here. We got like probably two trainers here. Let's go. Mm, do you know about Pokemon cosplay? Yes, sir. There's quite a few people out there that is famous for cosplay. That's right. One that comes to mind, one of my favorite cosplayers, Steffi Pixie. Or Stephanie Pixie. Can't remember. Probably sure she's gonna be mad at me. Very good uh, cosplayer. Very damn good cosplayer. My favorite one. 
Shout out to Steffi Pixie right there. And again, another Scald. Let's go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Machop survives. So here comes that Scalding that, you know, we all fear. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And here he comes out with a Machop again. Powering up. Let's go. Thunderbolt. And, well, let's switch it up. Let's go with a Brick Break. Just because I know Thunderbolt will just, you know, destroy him. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, oh, my God. So, Steve has been defeated. I am happy about this. Alrighty. And I thought there was a trainer right here. And I thought there were items right here. So, we're going to go up. And I believe, yeah, we're towards the tail end. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's going to tell you if you... I see you have plenty of Pokeballs. If you ever run low, come talk to me. He will give you some Pokeballs if you're, you know, having trouble. Or, you know, if you waste them all right here capturing all these guys. All right. We're at the very end, guys. Don't worry. We're almost done. And luckily for us, Picnicker Leah right here only has one Pokemon, which is great. Now, I did get a question from one of you guys. When are you going to ever use Mew? Don't worry, guys. I'm waiting for it. He's the secret weapon. I don't know when, but eventually I'm going to use Mew, and it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be stupid. Pokemon can learn any move that's ever existed, and it just destroys everybody. So, eventually I will be using Mew. I don't know when. Countdown begins, or began when I got him. And look at that. Book has grossed to level 17 and is finally learning Flamethrower. I thought that was just a gimmick, but there it is. Take away the Ember attack. And look at that. Okay, so we get two Great Balls out of this. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, talk to this girl. Or this guy. Kind of like Goku just missing. Like, kind of missing both genders and all that stuff. So here we go. Camper Leroy wants the battle. Coming with his Nidorino. Apparently, they're partners in crime, I guess. And, yes. Let's go, Sparky. Let's do this. Let's get this. All right. Zippy Zap. And Bite Attack. It really doesn't matter. Zippy Zap for the win. Yeah. Not, 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 not so hard now. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to doing that. Look at that. Oh yes, more Great Balls. The more Great Balls we get, the more off-screen, uh, you know, capturing we get to. God dang it, Graveler, get the heck out of the way. And here we have a Super Potion. And I'm gonna escape this guy. Oh jeez. You know what, screw it. Probably should have done this from the get-go, but... There we go. Alright, so as you can see, they're gone. No Pokemon in sight. It's gonna continue like that, and here we have another item. Found ourselves another Stardust right here. Which we will be using for, you know, selling our Pokeballs, or no, selling for more Pokeballs. And I believe this is the last trainer we're gonna be playing against. I came here, I came this far looking for wild Pokemon. Me too. Not really. I'm gonna do it off screen, guys. Don't worry. So here we go. Picnicker da Dana. And yes, yeah, she will be coming out with her meow. Look at this Pokemon. Alrighty. Good combination of both Sparky and Leonardo. Well, Leonardo just, you know, cheers on Sparky. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with the brick break while we're at it. And fake out to this guy. Big mistake because guess what? Brick break for the win. <laughs> we were ready. We were ready for you. And, well, she's coming out with a Vulpix. So this is a... This is a uh, job for Leonardo right here. So let's go with a Thunderbolt. And finally with a Scald. And there's that Quick Attack that didn't really affect us. So here we go. Thunderbolt for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Oh, yes. And look at that. Leonardo grows a level 32. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. And Dana has been defeated. 
Yes, I feel good about this, guys. I feel really, really good. Very good. Okay, so let's see. Is there one more thing that we need to get here? There might be a hidden item here somewhere. Yes. Here it is. Found ourselves a pearl. And, well... There's an item right here somewhere. It's right here somewhere. If you guys can't tell, Pikachu's tail is wagging. So there we go. We found ourselves a revive. And... Rock Tunnel, Cerulean City to Lavender Town. Alrighty, so... Time to reconvene and get the heck out of here. Okay, so we're going to stop right here, guys. Uh, that was the whole goal is to go through Rock Tunnel. I know that there are trainers around here. I'm going to save that for the next episode when we visit Lavender Town. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Again, more episodes will be coming out, one per day, now that I changed my mind somehow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.